So it's true what they say, never wake a sleeping giant. You can hear a little boy giant snoring behind us. Uh, and he looks so comfy and cosy. Alan Smith from St George's Hall, what a great start to this weekend. Fantastic start. I, well, what's quite nice is I always wax lyrical about the hall and how we had greatness before. And we were in a venue which is built by giants of the um, Victorian Empire. So we're in a, a great setting. And to be here under the biggest battle vaulted ceiling in the world at the time, with Giants here, you, you get to see where Giants built the venue, architecturally for the city, and now we know what he's walking with Giants and listen to them snore and sleep. Listen to sleep, yeah. yeah. We're open from 12 uh, this afternoon till 11 o'clock at night, so there's loads of opportunities to come down and see us. There's also some animation on the plateau where there's a masquerade ball you can turn up in fancy dress, uh, wear a mask, and it's all free. You can uh, have lots of fun. What I look forward to most is the expressions on people's faces, that sheer joy, and from a whole uh, range, from the first time we did the Giants, from young lads on their bikes, you know, riding through Everton, we were just elated, and that was lovely to older people, to young people. You know, you actually do see jaws dropping, you see people crying, you really see people connecting uh, with the people in the story, and I think, for me, it's always, you know, those moments that you capture as you're walking around. We've got, like, live music and stuff outside tonight, which is great. It's a real party atmosphere to welcome the Giants to town, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a very French party atmosphere, so there will be lots of music, lots of dancers, and quite odd costumes. It will be... It's, it will start tonight as a real celebration of Royal Deluxe work and that's how the whole show will go over the whole weekend so um, so yeah it's really exciting and a bit nerve-wracking. This is the final Royal Deluxe show ever so I would absolutely get here for the very for the for, for the whole Sunday actually because there's lots of uh, there's lots of surprises on the Sunday. It is a big big finale please do check it out it finishes around 4 p.m and just just get hopefully. in experience hopefully yeah <laughs> we've got to say as well we've got to stress they obviously might just stay. yeah it is a live <laughs> event so routes might change yeah, things can happen oh, yeah. so just keep with culture liverpool and the guide liverpool for all your info claire mccoggan we'll let you get back to thank work you. and i'll see you, you in the hammock on sunday night <laughs> thank you